Conversations, a safe place of discussion and discovery. So, right now, I'm gonna just pray and then we're gonna get into the message. But I came on here with Out of Time by Drake and Bryson Tiller, so it's like, what y'all going through relationship wise? And then the Three of Swords. Oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> anyway, let me pray right quick. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you keep doing, everything that you will be doing, and everything that you have been doing at this present moment. I allow you within my life, mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally, as you see fit. I allow you to move within me, around me, and for me at this time. At this time, I allow my spiritual, my ascendant spiritual team within my life, mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally, as you see fit. I allow you to speak through me, with me, and for me, and around me at this time. I thank you for loving me. I thank you for seeing me, and I thank you for protecting me at this time. What is it that I need to tell my collective? Give me the words of truth and empowerment of tough love. Give me the energy to guide them into a new time period. In Jesus' name, amen. Ashe, ashe. Ashe, ashe. Let's go. Oh, my God. I be feeling getting these flies. I'm telling y'all, y'all have so much attention. Anytime that I see flies is the attention that we're having, the momentum that we're having, the way that people are starting to look, the, pay, the way that people are starting to wander, the way that people are actually starting to try to like understand your energy and try to understand yourself i've been noticing like spirit been telling me like i need to mind my business you know this, this is the energy where you have to mind your business this is the energy where you you have to let go of trying to fix somebody else's soul and fix somebody else's problems and worry about yourself worry about your own likeness worry about your own love worry about your own growth because it's like that twitter post if we chase people if we chase god as much as we chase people god will give us people who we don't have to chase and this is the season where you need to chase your own spirit you need to chase your own spell. Thank you for your time and reading. Oh, thank you. Hey, y'all. And it's just like you're, you're gonna have to stop trying to chase people. This is not the energy of trying to chase people outside of yourself. This is the energy of actually trying to build a relationship with yourself, build a relationship within yourself. And I feel like that's why I came on, and it was the three of swords because we're so fed up with having these relationships that don't feed us, that don't serve us, that don't actually do anything for us. It's like we keep giving ourselves to people who benefit off of us, but they don't benefit us. They don't benefit our soul. They don't benefit our passion. They don't benefit us. And that's where we have a disconnect. You know, I was watching the TikTok the other day where this man was like, I get people where I'm the beneficial one. And that's not how you should live. You should never be beneficial to somebody and nobody has an exchange for you. Because if you're in a relationship where it's one-sided, that's bad. That's bad for you because that shows you just how the rest of your life is going to be. Your job is going to be one-sided. Your relationship with your mom, your relationship with uh, your man, the relationship that you have with your friends, it's always going to be one-sided. It's always going to be you pouring out more of your love, you pouring out more of your truth, you pouring out more of yourself than the other person's pouring into you. So now they're feeding off of you. But you built that relationship not based off of something that you knew, but something that you grew up with. Because where, where is that a childhood wound? That's a parenting wound. That's something that your parents taught you to always give yourself more than other people give to you. Now understanding, it's an exchange of energy. What can you do for me just like, what can I do for you? What can you do for me just like I can do for you? This, this shouldn't be an, an aspect of my soul where I'm thinking about, oh my God, you, I'm just here to benefit you. I'm just here to save you. I'm just here to do things for you. No. <laughs> that's a mother room. I promise you, that's a female room. Because females think you're always, well, a toxic, I'm going to tell you this, a toxic female think you're supposed to give up your whole life for somebody else and save somebody else and rescue somebody else. I'm not rescuing you. <laughs> it's not my job. That's not my purpose. And that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be loving myself. I'm supposed to be seeing myself. And I'm supposed to be seeing how do you benefit me? These are the time periods where you got to walk in the energy of how do you benefit me? And if you don't benefit me, if you don't do anything for me, I don't need to be around you. And don't think of it like, dang, they're just benefiting me and I'm not benefiting them. No, you know you're beneficial to somebody's life. You know that you're going to improve somebody's life. You know that your power, your voice, your presence is enough for half of people. <laughs> for half of what people are actually going to give you. So that's why it's like, this is the time where you got to understand your worth. These are the times where you got to understand your soul. These are the times where you got to talk to God and get him to understand, like, listen, 
<laughs> this is what I need. These are the type of people I need. These are the times for those non-negotiables. These are the times where you're building your standards. These are the times where you're building, building your soul and you're building yourself. And that's why I keep saying 2023 is about dating yourself. But this Libra season is really about this me season. How can I be more in charge of my life? How can I be more empowered with myself? How can I be more in connection with myself? How can I get what I want from just being in a mental, emotional, and spiritual balanced state with myself? You know, this is work, but all work is not physical. This is not physical work. This is not something that you have to conquer physically. This is something you have to conquer emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. This is something within. You, you really have to love yourself within. You really have to see yourself within. You really have to come into, like, dang, what am I admitting to God? What am I admitting to the universe? You know, we always say that God is the one taking care of our burdens. We always say that God is the one actually taking care of us, not understanding. Do we really know what that means? Do we know what that means for God to really take care of all of our burdens? To take care of all of, all of us, <laughs> every piece of ourselves, every piece of our spirit. Because if that's the case, then you can never be unhappy about things that's not going your way because you understand that that's not your position. That's not your place. God is the one taking care of that. So if it's not going the way that I think it should go at that time period, no matter what, it's still going to go my way because God is the one taking over and taking control of that. I don't have to worry about that. So I can stay in my good frequency. I can stay in my happiness frequency. And if God is taking care of your burdens, that means that you can stay doing whatever you want to do. You can be free. It's like when you're wealthy and you have a wealthy ass father. You think they're you think their kids are worried about what's not going right in their world? No, they're not worried about shit. They're worried about really what what's the activity of the day. <laughs> and that's really how you have to live when you start living with God. When you start being in union with God, it's mostly a what do I want to do today? What do I want to do today? How do I want to live today? You know, faith without work is dead, but that work isn't keeping yourself happy. That work isn't keeping your soul happy. That work is keeping your soul engaged with yourself. You know, these are time periods where you can't keep thinking that somebody else is going to fulfill your cup better than you do. You got to learn how to fulfill your cup. You got to learn how to love your heart. You got to learn how to talk to yourself. You got to learn how to put the work and the effort in maintaining your soul and maintaining your happiness. Stop depending on everybody else around you to get you where you want to go. Because that's not, that's not this time period anymore. God is calling you to do the work. God is calling you to love yourself. God is calling you to do what you know you've been wanting to do. And, it, and it's just like manifestation. Because a lot of people be like, you need to manifest, you need to manifest. And don't even know the first steps of manifesting. Because in order for you to manifest, is for you to really research what you're trying to manifest. It's like if you want a new car. Because example, I really want a new car. But at the same time, I know I'm a Florida right now. So I I really don't want to get a car. That's just a desire of mine. But if I wanted to get a car, I'm going to look up the car that I want. And then by looking up the car that I want, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look up what dealership has the car that I want. Then I'm going to look up the color that I want. Then I'm going to look up the interior that I want. And I might even go up to the dealership just to look at the car. Even though if I'm not going to buy it right now, I just know in my mind, I'm getting myself in the process of buying it. So I'm just going to go to the dealership and I'm just going to look at the car. I'm going to test ride the car. I'm going to see how it drives. I'm going to see what, what it's made of. I'm going to see what it really looks like. I'm going to get further and further closer to getting my car. Not saying that I'm getting it right now, but I'm saying I'm making steps towards getting it by even going to the dealership, by even looking it up, by even trying to be in the frequency and the mindset and the headspace of, okay, what is this car? How does it drive? Even if I go on YouTube and I start looking up the engine of the car and I start like imagining myself driving that car, that's me doing research. That's me help, helping my manifestation and helping myself get into alignment with my will. Yes, visualizing. It's like if you want to manifest, you got to learn your ways of manifesting. It can be visualizing or it could be journaling. It could literally be you turning on the music and you journaling about having this car, how it feels, how nice it is, what you're going to be doing in this car, where you're going to be going in this car. It's like what are you doing to help yourself get into manifesting your life? manifesting your existence manifesting your soul and when you do this this is it takes research it takes knowledge it takes studying yourself and i've noticed like god has been telling me it's time to get back studious it's time to get back to studying your soul and it's time to get back to studying your purpose you can't keep sitting here thinking that i'm just gonna bring you whatever you want and you have not made any steps on trying to figure out what you want don't complain to me for the things that you're not doing (laughs) <laughs> that's what God keeps telling me I don't know about y'all but God for me keeps telling me like don't keep complaining about things that you're not doing 
if, if you're not gonna take the time and the effort that it takes to really research your project, meaning your project is your next voyage, your next journey, don't, don't keep complaining to me because I've given you all the tools. And a lot of people think you have to have money to get what you want, when in reality, you just have to have the right mindset. Thank you. Yes, been getting the same messages. You are on point. Thank you, thank you. Is it High Priestess? I don't know how to say that. Plenty and High Priestess Kenley? I don't know, girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm butchering your name. I'm so sorry. But yes, ma'am. Because I promise you, God is just like, listen, like th this is time for us to get in alignment with our will and our way. This is our this is our time and our moment to actually get back into our life. <laughs> Thank you. It, it, it's our time. It's our time to come into love. It's our time for like our earth angels, you know, the people who've always loved God, the people who always seen God. It's our time to shine. But it's like, are you willing to put yourself out there? Are you willing to promote yourself more? Are you willing to jump right into that energy? It's not about having the money. It's about using the resources you have now to gain more money, to gain more opportunity, to gain more of your soul and yourself. Lately, what I've been saying to myself is all I have to do is show up. And God will bring the people. Even with the TikTok lives, with the Instagram lives, with the YouTubes, with the with the TikToks, with just the Instagram posting, with my Twitter, God just keeps telling me, all I have to do is show up. I have the knowledge. I have the wisdom. I'll bring the people. I'll bring the people when I know you need the people. What people needs to go with you. What people needs to talk to you. What people needs to listen to this message and to this story. Like, you, you have to understand just how much everything is in God's control, but everything uh, it, is co-creation with you as well. So you have to learn how to do your part because faith without work is dead. And the faith is in maintaining your soul, in maintaining your essence, in maintaining your happiness. What keeps you happy? I notice what's keeping me happy. I love to actually take care of these dogs that my sister has. I love that I'm an aunt. I love that I'm a little TT and I can take them out and I can play with them. I love getting on Instagram live and actually showing and telling my story and giving y'all collective messages. I love getting on TikTok and meeting new people and connecting with new people and vibing with new people. I love doing my poetry and putting it out there because I love that souls, lost souls are gaining themselves or gaining themselves back when they read my stuff i love it i love to heal people i love to talk i love to be messy too <laughs> i love to cook i'm noticing i love to cook it brings some type of peace within me i love to clean i don't know what it is it's just something about that water running and i'm washing them dishes and i'm just talking to god as i'm cleaning it's just it's just something about that <laughs> yeah as you should y'all inspire me each and every day when y'all tap into me when you like purchase my stuff when i get like clients it's just y'all validate me y'all validate the fact that i'm doing this work for something i'm healing for a reason there's a purpose of me being here love, love, love me make a cooking live stream oh my god i should i should it's the, uh, the only reason why i don't do it because they be walking around naked in my we're all females. We're going to walk around naked. And that's the only reason why I don't. And I'm going to try to, though. I'm going to try to, though. Because I want to make some pancakes. Because, like, this morning, I'm going to make some pancakes. I'm going to make some sausage. And I'm going to make some hash browns. I'm going to make a bagel. Cooking with talking with God. I know that's right. And cleaning. Because I love cleaning, too. I think everybody loves a good clean. Okay? Because I was on Instagram Live, and I was washing um, the dog's paws. They was giving me hell. <laughs> when I say they was running, they was running. One of them like whined, like I was really hurting them. I ain't doing nothing to you but cleaning your paws. I own a cleaning business, really? I know that's right. It's just something about cleaning. Like even though I be watching hoarders, I would never want to clean a house like that. But it's something about getting getting somebody else's life organized. It's just, it's just, I don't know. It's just powerful. Yeah, fulfillment. It just fills me up with power to clean. And I'll be feeling like that's when you really shift the energy, especially when you do it. I notice, like, if I don't clean, I, I like the way I clean because I like the way I shift the energy and I pray and I have my music and my gospel in the background. Like, I'm, I'm really healing the atmosphere in the world. Yes, yes, yes. I swear. I swear I do. It's amazing. I feel like I want to pull a card for you, High Priestess, because you've been in this live just really engaging with me. And you know what? I love engagement. I really do. Would you like that? I don't want to pull your energy if you don't want me to pull it. It's okay. I got to ask permission. Mm -mm -mm. 
But if you want a carpool, I definitely will give it to you. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. I'm seeing the number two, so that's a relationship with self. I'm also seeing blue and one. Are you having a new relationship with self? Are you gaining more clarity of self? Are you exploring the different options within yourself? That's what I'm seeing. It's like you're exploring yourself. It's a it's a newfound fulfillment with inside of yourself and your soul. Let's see. I'm seeing a lot of, I keep seeing this card. And I feel like this is the nine of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a nine of wands. You're taking a journey. You're exploring like this mystical part of yourself and this soul. You see this new mindset on the right track? You're, you're exploring something. You're allowing yourself to be slow. You're allowing yourself to be open to the change in, 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 in the environment. You're allowing the environment to heal you. You're allowing God to heal you. You're allowing your soul to be fulfilled at this time period. It's like you're building a new sword, a mother of sword, but you're building it in a way of attracting. You're magnetizing your energy right now. You're being a feminine energy. You're sitting back and you're allowing God to come in. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Nine has been a big number for me. You know, nine is ending of a personal karma. It's ending of a phase with inside of yourself. So that's one of the reasons why you have that nine. Yeah. And that I see this mother of sword, but I don't see this as like movement. I see this as more as like you're attracting something. You're, you're working on your energy. You're working on embodying energy. You're working on allowing God to move rather than you be so much of a movement. Like, even though these are steps and you're going up a personal ladder and a personal level of yourself, I see this as you, like, sitting with your sword, sitting with your energy and knowing your strength and knowing your confidence. I don't actually see you moving during this time, like, physically. I see you, like, embodying something, embodying some type of energy, embodying some type of sword, some type of mindset. I see that for you. Girl, you're doing good. Wait a minute. I think I want to read this one for you. This is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the seven of wands. One thing about the seven of wands is a freedom. Thank you, yes. I used to rush, rush, rush. I've been going with the flow. Yeah, I can feel it. Even with this song, like, I feel your heart just have a release and having a moment of, like, no, I can take my time. Like, and one thing that I've been telling people is, like, God is not a nine to five. Don't treat him as a nine to five. Don't treat him as this slavery system. He doesn't want you to hurry up and jump into a new routine and jump into this new life and just have it all figured out. No, he wants you to slowly process your emotions and take time to heal yourself and just know that he's gonna work everything out outside of yourself. You have this moment of him, you went to him because you needed to heal, because you needed a break, because you needed to slow down, because you needed to break down. So this isn't a time period where you worry about your situation and you worry about how is this gonna get fed? How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? No, this is a time period where you have faith that God is doing his part as you're healing your soul, you know? But I wanna read this um, seven of wands because I feel like you need it. Let me see. And I really like this book because even though it has such a darker approach, the unknown tarot, it's such a light book. It's so positive. It just shows me that even in the midst of darkness, you will always have light. And darkness doesn't always have to be something that's like so heavy. You know, I was selling like Virgos the other day when I was on live. Like Virgo energy gives me a birthing. Like when when people have like kids when they're pregnant and they have contractions like that's such a beautiful moment but that's such a dark ass energy it's so messy it's so dirty it's just so like i think females die when they're actually giving birth like giving birth is just so beautiful but that's like a dark ass fucking energy <laughs> like literally but okay seven of wands courage and inner strength a single wand stands up tall, ablaze with light. The others fall away in shadows. Such is the story of the seven of wands. You are not, you are not find any strength or support from others, only yourself. It's time to be truly courageous and stand up for your beliefs. You may feel overwhelmed with caution and fear, but your initial fire will guide you the way. I'm telling you, you lit something. You, you've been igniting something with that inside of yourself, and you've been allowing your soul to lead the way. You haven't been allowing your physical body to lead the way. You've been allowing your mind to actually validate what your soul has been wanting to do. You've been following your passions. You've been allowing this like falsehood of thinking that you have to be in charge and thinking you always have to find a way for yourself to, to just die off and just let go. 
you've been allowing yourself to just sit and attract and understand that I'm okay. I can take a break. <laughs> Uh, what she say? Yes, thank you. I've been saying I've uh, I, what we lit my fire the last two months. I know that's right. You've been completely spot on. I know that's right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's so crazy because I was not going to actually come on here today, but I think the lie was for you, girl. <laughs> I think God needed to send you some positive love and some positive energy, and just know like you have the strength now. You you gain the strength. You got that Leo energy. You got that confidence. You got that love for yourself. You got that power for yourself. When I feel your energy, it's just such a, a release. I feel a release from you. I feel a like just I'm sitting, I'm being down. It's like a queen of wands energy. Queen of wands. I'm just sitting and I'm manifesting and I'm attracting. I'm a Leo moon. I know that's right. I know that's right. I know that's right. I'm telling you, like, your energy is sweet. It, it, it's, it's slow, it's patient, it's a mother. Are you a mother? It's like, it's giving me very mother energy. Like, mother knows best from Tangled. Mother knows best. <laughs> Maybe you need to watch Tangled. I don't know why I got that one. What you got going on? You breaking free or something? I'm a mother to three. I know that's right. I know that's right. Do one of them like Tangled? It's something about Tangled. I was a young mom at 19. Oh my God. Then number nine, stay following you. How was it? Was it good or was it just, it's just a lot. A mother at three and then a mother at one at 19. It's just, oh my God. Like my friend recently just had a child and I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> you need a village for real. My middle daughter has always resembled her. From Tangle? Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm telling you, like, God just be working. It was hard. It does take a whole bit. It really does. Like, she got a whole village. She even got me. She even got more people. But it's like, damn, like, having kids is like, it's a lot. Like, even with taking care of, I'm not comparing the dogs to a human, but, like, even comparing, like, taking care of them dogs, that's, that's fucking hot. They have a routine. They need to get up by a certain time. They need to pee at a certain time. They need to eat at a certain time. I got to make sure that they're clean. I got to make sure that they're washed. I got to make sure they don't eat nothing that they're not supposed to eat. It, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. Long bleach blonde hair. I know that's right. I don't know. I don't know why that movie came up to, for me. Like, something significant in that movie. You might need to go watch it. My best friend has dogs. It's just as hard. I tell her that being a mom dog is almost harder. Child, because they never grow up. They, <laughs> they're never growing up. <laughs> they're literally going to be the same forever and ever. I'm like, wow. Wow. Yes. And I'm like, damn. At least with kids, they're gradually going to go up and they're going to grow through their pain. Dogs don't give a fuck. They're going to keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. They don't care. <laughs> I'm like, dang. And then one thing about a dog, because they real petty, because they'll look you in your face and do what you said don't do. And they know. They know. They know. I be mad. I'm like, y'all know. Y'all know. <laughs> like, ugh. I got a dog in there, Precious. She'll literally look me in my face and start eating shit that she knows she's not supposed to eat. So I'm telling her, move, come here. She only going to start moving when I start moving because she knows she bad and she knows she's not supposed to do it. I'm like, you just want to get hit. You just want to be in the cage. You just want to be in trouble. I can't. Okay. But girl, let me go. Thank you so much for that beautiful reading. And thank you so much for joining this live. And thank you so much for being here. But I am definitely going to go. I feel like I just need to do a quick little live. If you want to see me again, you can come back on at 10 p.m. Because I will be doing another live at 10 p.m. But thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bless you. Have a blessed day. You too. Have a good one. Your energy is sweet. Your energy is loving. Your energy is open. Be open to the day. Something good is going to happen to you. I promise you. Bye, girl.